All right, what is going on, everyone? Thank you all so much for stopping by the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well, guys, it is Thursday, and as you know, we like to do Pokemon every other Thursday here at the Card Dojo. Uh, today is no different. What we have for you um, on this occasion is two ETBs of um, Shining Fates. So I'm gonna quickly cut through these guys and then I'm gonna pause just so you can see me break it. Now I'm gonna pause and unbox them all. All right guys, the packs are out of the box, which is like the most frustrating part. You know, I, like, I wish we could just get like a, a pack, just normal packs without all the extra nonsense, but you know, it is what it is. Here we're gonna do guys a battle. So it won't just be a repetitive thing. We're gonna see what um, box number one, box number two, we'll see which one has the better hits. Um, just to make it interesting, to spice it up a little bit because I'm sure we've all seen a whole bunch of Shining Fates by now. And, uh, okay, these corners are devastated. Okay, we're gonna keep moving though. So let's see which box will uh, win. Real quick, guys, put your call in. Box one or box two? A or B? All right, here we go, guys. Energy, Yeltao, Wacky. Guys, we have 20 packs to get through, so I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna rip Fast and Furious. And we, we will be focusing on the last two cards for the most part. Here is a Dreadnought Reverse Holographic followed by um, Volcanion. Volcanion non-holographic for box number one. We're going to move right on to box number two. And then we're going to have ten rounds of this, ladies and gentlemen. Ten rounds of battles back and forth. Let's see who reigns supreme. Here we have a Fighting Energy, a Rotom, Cramorant, Team Yeltao. We got a Shinx, a Horsey, Yanma, a Morpeko. Coughing, uh, Morpeko, Reverse Holographic Guys, and we have a Volcanion. So there we go, we're tied up, Volcanion to Volcanion. Round one, easily, I would say that is a draw. And um, guys, if you're not familiar with Shining Fates, if you're here for the sports, and maybe I'm educating you to a small degree about what is going on with these Pokemon cards, in this we are looking for Charizard. Yeah, that's right, not surprised guys. We are looking for Charizard, but we could also find a whole bunch of shiny, little baby shinies and we can find some amazing rares um, all of that would be absolutely fantastic so that's what we're keeping our eyes out for here we have a galarian wheezing um, the reverse hollow I always struggle with the dark energy reverse hollows and behind him we have finally a uh, professor's research so that was a white pack um, but didn't have anything in it I thought the white backs meant that you had a hollow um, guaranteed but I guess uh, I could be wrong so let's just see if that uh, trend continues. Or did I do something wrong? It's quite possible I did something wrong. Uh, here we go, Dartrix, um, Morpeko, we have Coughing, Gossifleur, Kakena, Choodle, Dartrix, Reverse Holographic Guys, and a, a Yanma, Yanmega. So I guess they're all white backs and I just didn't notice. So Yanmega and that Professor's Research, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I guess Professor's Research maybe wins that battle, I don't know. It's really, um, you know, a trainer versus a Pokemon, and uh, it's only stage one. Well, I guess yeah, Mega doesn't really evolve past that, huh? All right, so we're on to pack three, round three, starting off with the Water Energy, uh, Shield, Eldegrass, Tropius, Morpeko, uh, Spinarak, Boozeal, Rowlet, Chop Pinch, and oh, guys, there you go. I forgot the shinies are in the position where usually the Reverse Hollows are. So there we have a shiny, Toxtricity. Very lanky, lanky dude like myself, so I do appreciate this guy. And behind him we have a, a, a Dreadnought, non-holographic, and this card um, is bent. Took quite a beating. This ETB, this box took a beating, so hopefully uh, this one seems like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I didn't really check the centering. I don't do much centering checking and all that, surface checking, you know, to see if it's gradable, because I've never graded cards before and I really don't know what I'm looking for. Guys, here you go. You can have the Shining Fates code card. I do give away a couple codes, but as I'm sure many of you know by now, I do play the game online, so um, those cards are quite valuable to me and helping me build my deck um, so I can compete with the uh, the big boys and the, the TCG online. Uh, here we have a Galarian Surf Farfetch, and that is the Shiny. So that's a pretty cool dude. Uh, Evolve some Galarian Farfetch'd. Uh, I do want to build a fighting deck online, and I'm working on that. And here is a Frostmoth, and I do need a Frostmoth because of their um, energy acceleration. You can read that. You can just pretty much attach as many energy as you like 
I am definitely looking for this in game. I have not pulled it, but that's our second holographic that we have pulled uh, from actual real packs in real life. And as I always say, unfortunately, I don't play in real life because I don't know anybody that plays the game. So um, it would be me against myself winning and losing at the same time. So that's not not a whole lot of fun. Let's be honest. There's Ball Guy, Kufant, Eevee, um, Buzil, a Yanma, Chapinch, a, a Rotom, Reverse Holographic, and a Yen Mega once again. So let's see who we can get on this other side. So far, I would say it's a tough one. We got the V versus the one pack that had two hollows in it, one being a shiny. Uh, but this one right here could easily put this one in the lead. And I think we do see something silver, guys. And that usually means that there is a full art on its way. So, ooh, guys, we got double full art. So we got double here. We got a shiny. Um, set the Scorch. Set the Scorch V. Shiny. That's pretty good. Definitely going to take that one. And behind him, we also have it's a trainer. Who is it going to be? I forget which one we can get. It is um, Skyla. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Um, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So yeah, that is pretty useful. So there you go. Okay, I think it's safe to say that um, ETB number two just took the lead because those two last packs were pretty, pretty loaded. All right, is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, guys, back to the other side. We are on to pack, is it four or pack five? I think this is only pack four, round four. We're gonna try to keep this going in a timely manner. And I did see a little peek. I don't know if you did, because I am a little bit sloppy, uh, admittedly. Um, we have a VMAX. We do have our first VMAX coming up. It is not in the hollow position, so we could have a baby too. Oh, there we go, an ore beetle. I have not seen this one yet. Let me zoom in for you. Evolved from Dottler. But there is a very mean looking ore beetle. Shiny. And behind him, let me stand him up real quick first, uh, is going to be a VMAX for a uh, Crobat. Crobat VMAX. I think we already pulled this one. But still, not a bad pull. Um, helping to even out the score a little bit. But hey, they went first, which means that this pack, obviously, is going to be the finisher of this round. Uh, I'm quickly seeing an issue where uh, the cards are going to run into each other and we will no longer know which um, cards came from which box, but maybe I'll do a little something to um, help. Maybe we'll have like a little halftime show. We'll bring out the marching band and while the band is distracting you, I will rearrange all the cards. Uh, here we had that wheezing once again, the reverse hollow, followed by a Manfi or a Manaphy. Uh, I do use Manaphy actually in my... My big boy water deck to, oh my goodness, I just caused an earthquake, guys. My lighting, I'm sorry. Are we okay? Are you okay? All right, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, so I use him. You can basically search your deck once per turn as long as he's in the active spot. And uh, you can basically look at your top six cards and any Pokemon that is there that you would like to take out and put into your hand, uh, you may do so. So he's helpful early. Here he is once again. A very early, uh, useful card. You never actually attach energy to him unless you're going to retreat. Uh, I don't think he evolves and uh, his wave splash is not really something you want to be wasting energy on. Usually he's just there until you beef up someone else and you let them do the damage. So here we go guys, uh, the rebuttal. We do have something coming up um, in the back of this one. It's looking like a V. Uh, so behind this Rowlet, Trap Pinch and Snom, we have a Rillaboom. Okay. The Rillaboom, we have pulled this one before, but uh, he is quite a cool dude with the, the shade. Oh no, I'm sorry. He doesn't have shades on. My camera just wasn't focused. Uh, he, he looked like um, War Turtle with the, the sunglasses on. But behind this Rillaboom, shiny, we do have another V, and it is another one. Crobat. So there we go. Crobat can hang out with Crobat V. We got the full ev evolution um, tree, I guess you'd say. And yeah, at this point, I think I'm going to start running out of places to put these other cards. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And uh, yeah, wasting time. All right, guys, here we go. On to the next round. On to the next round. I didn't do a halftime show. The marching band never showed up. Um, they were paid, so I was kind of going to have to complain about that. Guys, there you go. One more code for you for now. Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I won't. 
I guess we'll all find out together. We're on to the next pack, guys. We have a Thwacky, a Snom, a Grookey, a Spinarak, a Shinx, Horsey, and then we do have a Reverse Hollow for Murpeko once again, and a Celebi non holographic to go in to the discard pile. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, on to the box number two. How can box number two return? Can we get that shiny Charizard from one of these boxes, guys? We have still yet to find a big chase card. Um, I guess maybe the XY Evolutions we get the Charizard, who is floating around here somewhere in the background, now covered up by Skyla. Um, boss's orders, and I went right through the horsey. Reverse holographic without saying anything, but that's okay. And am I going? Am I getting ahead of myself? Yes, I'm sorry. Guys, I almost just had like a disaster happen right there. We almost did box two before doing box one. But I, I knew something was wrong and quickly fixed it. Here we go. On to box one. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. What happened, buddy? What did they do to you? But you made it. That's okay. The rest of the cards seem fine. Man, the hero. <laughs> that, that white back code card was a hero who saved... What well, appears to be another VMAX or something coming up. Um, another full art trainer coming up, guys, because I did peek. Um, it looks like that code card saved it from devastation. Here we go, guys. Gossifleur. Dartrix, reverse holographic. And all right, guys, I already I already spoiled that as a trainer. So let's see who it is. This time it is uh, this creepy dude who's going to be juggling balls in your nightmares. Uh, in his short shorts with his sweatpants underneath them i don't know what's up with this guy i don't know what's up with this guy why is his head a ball why is he so creepy um so many questions and i'm not sure i i want the answers um we're gonna move orbital onto the ground there we go that's what we're gonna do orbital on the ground we're gonna put our sir far fetch on the ground we're gonna put frost smooth on the ground or frost moth on the ground and okay i i shouldn't have done that while everything was going, but I did and I wasted your time, so I do apologize for that, guys. We are on to the next pack, the rebuttal from um, box two or box B. I guess you guys can call it whichever one you want. Um, a, B, one, two. Do you prefer numbers or letters? I don't know. Here we go, guys. We're moving on to this pack, and I have a giant stack of cards that's about to fall over like Jenga, and I'm gonna fix that after this pack. Or pack go. Ooh, there we go, guys. There is the first amazing rare. For Kyogre. I think I'm forgetting. I, I know I'm missing one from this set. So I am looking to catch these. Um, so that's pretty good. But I do think I had that one. And we did catch finally the actual hollow and not the reverse hollow for wheezing. So uh, let me just pause and organize my mess. Alright, guys, here we go. We are heading into the fourth quarter of this battle. It looks like right now, with all the extra cards, I would say that box two is winning. However, we still have two packs on each side, and it only takes one pack to win. It only takes one pack to win. We can pull an amazing shiny Charizard. I am still very hopeful, guys. We have Metal Energy, Rotom, Rusted Shield. We skipped over Float Soul, Yanma, Morpeko, Toodle, Eevee, Horsey. Um, Rusted Sword and a Rillaboom. There is the Rillaboom who isn't shiny. So let's just take a quick look at the difference there for you guys. Uh, one's hair is slightly um, lighter green than the other. So that's actually the first hollow um, non-shiny from box number one. We have two that hit from box number two. Um, box number two also has two shinies versus one shiny on box one. And box two had a amazing rare whereas box one had none. So we're on to um, box two, round nine. Let's see if we can get another shiny, um, shiny hollow here because I don't see a V. Here we go, it is a Rotom and then followed by a Zarud. So um, nothing, there, nothing there and we're on to guys. The final round here is um, Dragapult, I think, or Dragapult. We do have, um, Premium edition boxes, both the Crobat and this guy, the Drag Dragapult, um, which I can open. I'm debating if I want to open them right now or if I want to save them for another time. I am doing a lot of Shining Fates lately, so I don't want to like oversaturate and, and bore you guys with this repetitive stuff. I don't know if you're interested. If you like seeing, you know, Champions Path ripped every other weekend, I can do that, but it, it gets tiring because the polls are repetitive. 
here we have a Yan Mega and guys unfortunately a Dreadnought so nothing here to save box one it looks like box two is gonna be the winner but can we get a little icing on top with this um, this guy this is the guy we want this is the card we want we already um, are up but but they can score like a touchdown and uh, and run up the score really just kind of embarrass this other box if we can pull something fantastic here so let's find out maybe we'll get a um an amazing rare and also in addition well, well the Charizard we already can tell is not coming because of the yellow border which I'm sloppily allowing to show so maybe we have an amazing rare in fact we'll do that one last here's the end mega um, and then this is finally guys nope it's just the reverse hollow for a rusted sword so no no big deal there but guys you know what i think we did pretty good we got the ball guy we got the skyla we got the sense scorch v we got the the toxicity v uh crobat v max and the crobat v so pretty even with the bigger um bigger cards i guess but then we have an amazing right here two shinies just the one shiny two hollows the one hollow so you guys can see the pull rates this box, I would say, had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. This one had five. Um, ten packs each. Obviously, they're not balanced out. They won't always be the same. Um, so I'm going to say that box B, box number two, is the big winner here today. So, guys, I think I'm, gonna, I'm going a little long. So let's just wrap it up here. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.